file. Take up again. In this section, we are going to learn about the data handling. This. So I would like to start with how to be comma separated files. Any analysis and visualization separating data from various sources is a necessary first step. Third, we discuss about data input and data output, that is, reading in text format in Jupyter Notebook, in again, and writing data in different files of new files. We can read data from Many sources, like on a local disk, on a local server, databases, or interconnected databases, or can be extracted using different methods like scrapping, also tracking with network sources like web APIs. And thus offers a number of ways and functions for reading tabular data. A data frame object. The most commonly used general purpose as well as for analysis purpose function for reading tabular data are read underscore csv and read underscore table. We are going to gain knowledge on these in detail in this section. Let us begin with reading a small csv file. To the large file of the consent. Can we get in small CSV files using the format that is a, then the file name? The type is followed by the exclamation mark. It is for Windows. For Linux type system, you can use Cat instead of type. So, have a simple CSV file, comfort one. After reading the data of this file, data displays in this format. What is that? The data values are separated by a comma, the name comma separated file. Here, the displayed data is not in the tabular format. We see and place the data in tabular form, then we can use read underscore csv or read underscore table. Let us import the pandas and numpy to move further. Before reading the file using read underscore csv, it is very important to go through its structure. Oh my god! So many parameters, arguments to give importance for important parameters. We don't know what to do all these parameters. Sorry for this, but it is necessary. Go through all the parameters unless and you are putting in what can you run in, then you can utilize all the parameters. Let us read the dot string of says reads a comma subject values file into data frame. Also supports optionally creating breaking of the file into chunks. So we are working with the 15 to 16 parameters from this course of 50 parameters top. They are depart, separate, enter, enter, means, index underscore column, prefix, Data type, keep rows, number of rows, new values, chunk size, 
encoding encoding keep put as then finally flow menu let us keep this information in a separate window so the end part is nothing but part of the object it may be a thing or file like object or it may be an url and then Separator is delimited to use to separate the PC file values. The delimiter is also a string default one. It is an alias for separator. Here is an integer list of integer. Default input. First line will be in first row line of the CSV file will be considered as by default. Says row number to use as a common column name. And start up the data. What we have here is to import column names. If no names are passed, the behavior is identical to header is equal to zero. That means the first row, the CSV file will be considered as header. Names, an array like object, and it is an optional. This means the list of from names. The file contains no header. That means no header row. Can explicitly pass the names by passing that is equal to mount. If that is equal to zero, the first row of the column, first row values of the file are considered as column names. Then index, index underscore column, it is an int string a sequence of integers. That means the columns to use as the levels of the data frame. We have data type that means the type name or actually of column it is option. Next, we have keep rows uh, list like just are callable. It's also optional. That means whenever we read the CSV file, we do not encounter the Data frame like uh, values, shell. So there may be an header, header, or explanation with respect to the file. In such cases, we have to remove or we should have to skip the rules in order to keep the actual values. That time, we use skip rows. That means by skipping the rows, we can put the Rows that the actual values exist, and then number of alternatively, you can use number of rows in the CSV file. It is a large file, can read only a specified number of rows. For example, if it has 100 rows, we can read only 10 to 15 rows. Analyze what are they. Many columns are they and the column names, what, what types of column names are, etc. Any values, scale or string, is like dictionary, optional. It is due to have with null values. We have iterator, is in Boolean, default, false. Returns expel reader object iteration, getting chunks with that was for chunk. It is like an alias for uh, size. 
return text file reader object for iteration. Iterator as well as change size. But like the same, there is a slight difference. Then we have decimal. Factor to recognize as a decimal point. Then we have comment, string, and optional. Then we have encoding. This is very important. Encoding to for here when reading, writing the CSV file. For example, UTF file. Then use us the list of and standard encoding. You can go through this uh, link in the standard encoding match. Let's work with the CSV file and then to use these parameters that means 15 to 16 parameters important parameters by let us import the pandas okay let us read the import it for separate reader in terms of data frame by using read underscore csv just i am passing the first parameter is file path have simple one dot csv data set this is the example one for csv just i am passing that uh, path data set so in the file you are going to read it is present same directory you don't need to specify the path but if it is present somewhere else in the uh, computer disk or local computer, then you need to specify the full path. Here I'm using uh, the data set folder that this folder tutorial using desktop. That's why passing only the data set and then file name. If you encounter or if you find the Desktop somewhere in the it is by the full part. Just I am passing here to get a set and mentioning the and one more very important thing is we need to specify the file path to the single code or double code. Sometimes if it is an URL path to put or in front of the file path in order to ignore the back forward sorry backward slash then skip the backward slash to read the file path. We are also going to see that later in this course. Don't worry about it. Here I am keeping all the parameters to the default colors, reading the file, the file passing the file name. The file path. So here the header is equal to file path 0 by default. Since the data file, the first row is considered as the header row. It has now read into data file. From the duck screen, you can know that read under the CSV file in for so as the header is a tabular row. For non tabular row, we can pass number of rows to skip using skip rows parameter. Here in the file, existing file, first row is also in tabular form. Is considered as the star of the file. Let us look at the file. It looks actually in the data set from file one dot CSV. Data looks in this part, tabular part. First row is also in tabular form. Hence, it is considered as Header default 
tres y cuatro quinto hora. Now, I would like to read another CSV file where I don't want to consider the first row as the Instead, I want to specify it explicitly. That is the column name explicitly. So I post header is equal to none. So the first row is now not the header. Instead, the default will assign integer numbers to the column names. That means the header row it will assign Integer numbers starting from 0 to n to the number of columns. When you pause header is equal to none, you are telling read underscore csv not to consider first row as header. Let me give my own header names of column names. So, header is equal to none allows you to write your own column names using names parameter. can switch on both simultaneously. Header is equal to 0, can't aside your own column names. Header is equal to none, that means if you pass header is equal to none, you can assign your own column names. So here, first row is not considered as the header, instead the read underscore csv file that assigning integer values the column names. Starting from zero, I am renaming header. Is the column names by passing list of column names to this parameter. Here I am passing the names, separate names, of the columns. Zero, one, two, three, four. There are two columns are there. I am passing five names. One, two, three. Sorry, there are four. Column and columns. Now look at column names have changed. After renaming the column labels of the header name, we can set any column the row index of the return data field by putting column name in index underscore column. Default it is set to none. Means you can use the column row index row of the row index the data. Here I want to use program underscore name column as the row index instead of the integer index. I want to use the program underscore name. So, row index. So, pausing, program for name, so, index underscore column parameter. Now, we got the data frame with the program underscore name column as the row index. Alternatively, we can also create a list of column names. Like this, externally, pass the name of this list to names parameter and select the particular name, pass it to the index underscore column and make it as an index. So, here I am creating a list of column names and passing one of the names to make it as a row index. 